Hi and welcome and today we will review how to use um, to code in GLSL into SMOD. Uh, to do that we are going to create a shader layer. So let's uh, write shader here. Uh, this one. Okay. And here you can uh, put inside the shader editor your shader uh, and code your shader. And to expose variable, for instance, let's rename this one uh, smode. And let's expose this variable using uniform float. Because this is a float, uh, it's 1.0, uh, so it's a float uh, number. Call it smode and say it, its default value is 1.0 and put uh, point virgule. I don't know how it's uh, called this element in uh, in English. And control enter, control enter to uh, restart the shader. And now I have my expose variable here inside the parameter editor of my shader. And if I move it, I can then change my smooth variable. So then if you want to know how you can rig this uh, shader, you click on F1, click on the shader tab here. And here in the help tab, you have uh, uh, insight to to show how to expose variable and how that work. Um, and you see here shader uh, generator, shader toy generator, etc. So let's use the shader toy generator, shader toy. So the shader toy generator is kind of a beta feature. So it does not work with all shader toy uh, generator, but let's uh, try with some that work. So here I search for IQ shaders because most of them uh, actually work. But again, it's kind of a um, Russian roulette. You don't know if it's going to work or not. I will select this one because I know this one is actually working. So let's try with this shader. Okay. Now I will do a control C of all of the shader. And here you have I channel 0, 1, 2, 3, etc which can be code or uh, images, for instance. And here inside the shader tour, you have channel one, zero, two, three. So if your channel is using a UMA image, uh, you change that into layer. Where is that? JKL, uh, into image file or, file or into noise, white noise, etc. In this example, I have no other channel, so that should be all right. So let's do control E, control A, control V and control enter to recompile uh, the shader. And here you have a transport to allow to play it. And same thing, so I don't know how it's called, but how it's coded, but let's, um, I don't know, had uh, a variable. So let's times uh, smod and expose this variable here just to see if it's work. So uniform float smod égal 1.0 point virgule control enter and now let's go back into shader toy and i have my smod value here and you see that i can change uh, the ch this shader as i want using some variable i put inside the code so again i don't know exactly how this code is made uh, but then if you are a coder, a programmer, uh, whatever you call yourself, then you can add your variable here. Then one thing to know that is important is the shader. Uh, here you see it's got uh, the parent uh, resolution of one uh, uh, of 1K square. Um, but if I uh, reduce my shader, uh, you see that it has the same resolution. So if I want to um, uh, have a faster shader because it's uh, this GLSL shader can be very heavy to compute. What I need, uh, I will need to do is put that into a composition, change the resolution of my composition. So let's put that in a, like a 200 by 200. Okay. And then here, my shader tower takes the uh, parent resolution. So now I can. Uh, upscale my composition and my shader will remain in low resolution. So, well, basically that's how you do it. Uh, and uh, good luck uh, to configure your own shader. See you.